you're live. All right. Good morning, good evening, KGB TV. All right, I'm going to wait for you guys to get online here. I'm just going to keep it brief. Just want to let you guys know I'm coming out of my cave. Coming out of my cave. Been on vacation. You guys probably wondering where I've been at. Let me see if I can. Um, I see one person here. Hey, Brother Lamar. Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> hey, guys. I know I've been out of the loop here. Um, I have been doing a lot more uh, stuff on my uh my patron, but I just want to keep this brief, but I wanted to tell you guys something that um, this COVID-19 COVID has been like a vacation for me. Um, I know since I've started this channel, it's been a three-year run of being persecuted, um, uh, hated, uh, bamboozled, hoodwink, I mean, you name it. Um, you know, uh, obviously, um, you, you guys know the story. Any of you guys that have been following me, when you have uh, what they say, that uh, there's nothing like a woman, uh, a scorn of a woman or something like that. I don't know the same. Maybe you guys know what I'm saying, but there's nothing like it. But uh, it's been like a vacation. And um, I got to tell you, um, um, obviously, we had the Passover. We had the, the unleavened bread and um, first first fruits and then unleavened bread. So now <laughs> next week, I'm trying to in the next I think next week we're going to try to get the KGB uh, live show back on the um, get back running. Um, I got to get out of this vacation, but I've been enjoying it. Um, I have a lot of good news. Uh, not a, a lot of them I'm going to share here. Um, here on the YouTube, I was, I'll put that on my Patreon. So I'm going to be putting a lot of good content there where I can be a lot more, uh, you know, be intimate and share some things I'm, I, I don't want i don't want everybody spying on my liberty so if you have not uh, signed up for my patreon please go to my patreon kgb19 uh, it's called patreon slash uh if brother david if you got this can you please put that in the chat room i believe it's patreon slash kgb94 tv but uh i gotta say guys that um <clears throat> with this uh this uh social distancing and um Everybody being told to stay home. I've been able to spend some time with my Shia. Um, the time that we do get, um, um, I gotta say, I haven't, I haven't done this in a long time, but I've been watching a show called Jericho. Um, especially that we've been in the end times and everything. I think Pastor Dow actually recommended uh, the the. I thought it was a movie, but it's actually like a uh, season show and um, <clears throat> like an episode. You know, like they have twenty two episodes. And it always has a, a cliffhanger, and, it, and you watch it again and watch it again. So uh, I've been uh, doing that with uh, Sister Bree, my Shia, my woman, and um, just being able to just, I mean, we haven't really had a real, like, honeymoon where we just get to enjoy, you know, stuff. You know, I mean, you know, I'm assuming when people have a relationship, they have that moment. And uh, so it's been a good time with me spending time with her. Um, not only just seeing her serve me, um, be love me through her obedience to me, uh, but also just to be able to just have fun, you know, have fun, uh, binge a little bit on this uh, this show called uh, Jericho. Uh, you guys should check it out. I mean, I'm you know, like I said, I don't do I don't watch a lot of TV, but I have been watching this thing called Jericho, um, you know, to kill some time. But not, I mean, I usually. Um, Usually during the day, I'm spending more time in the Word and just been meditating on that, um, spending some time listening to uh, catching up on all of my um, Elder uh, uh, Elder Becker, um, uh, brother, um, Deacon Deacon Bell, Elder Donnie, obviously Pastor. That's I always try. I stay on top of Pastor Dow, sister to sister, um, um, the Lion Den. Try to catch up on all of my uh, shows there. Um, uh, when I say shows teachings and, and just about the word, I love it, teacher Shane. So, um, but then when that's all over and it's late at night, uh, I try to, I try to just watch one episode, one episode and somehow Bree convinced me to watch two or three. I'll tell you that, that woman, but you gotta love her. 
So anyway, uh, I watched your first team out. It was a great show. Yeah, I've never even heard of Jericho. I'm thinking like, wow. So it's kind of giving me some ideas. I, I, I really originally just watched it because uh, they said Pastor Dow, Pastor Dow recommended it and that it kind of gives you some ideas of what to do uh, when you, you know, lose power and things of that nature. So I'm so looking forward to um, uh, getting my own land and doing, I mean, this is just really giving me some ideas, just things that you should do to plan to prepare for times like this. So it's just been wonderful, guys, just seeing the type of pastor we have straight with being the, the ministry, just knowing that we're part of a ministry that not only prepares us spiritually, but actually prepares us physically in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm. I mean, doing deliverance, casting out devils, speaking in new tongues, healing the sick, and um, and just the practical things and just preparing. Uh, obviously, we, we, we always prepare for his return by keeping the feast, uh, being commandment keepers, but just also being prepared for times like this, you know, and it's going to happen. Yep, you can see it on Netflix. So, but just want to tell you guys, this has been a vacation uh, for me. And, um, but just like every vacation, you can only appreciate the vacation when you get some work done. So, I mean, this is just late at night. So I, I usually pay the price during the day. But just wanted to, get, you know, just come on here, let you guys know I'm alive. I'm well rested. Unfortunately, uh, you know, you guys are accustomed that when I get on here, there's some type of drama that I'm going through. The Christians are coming after me. My ex-wife is coming after me. The police is coming after me. I mean, everybody's coming. The judge is coming after me. They're trying to taser me. Uh, throw me in jail, hood, I mean, you know, shackle me up. I mean, all these things. And so I haven't had that. So it's been it's been peaceful here at Straightway Praise Land. And so now I want to get back because there's a lot of things that I've been thinking about, things that I've been able to just get in the word. I've been reading the book of Jasher. Um, that's been huge. Just going through there, reading, uh, trying to trying to go back, seek the path, uh, seek the old path. Uh, looking at the relationship between a husband and wife, a relationship between a father and son, um, just looking at the culture and how they lived and, and how, and the relate, more importantly, the relationship between men and Yah, you know, just really looking at that, just as some good insight. And I really believe that when you live, when you keep the commandments of Yah, when you, when you, um, actually are practicing it in your lifestyle like it's not just oh let me just read i mean you live it you meditate on the word the way you treat your woman the way your woman treats you the way you treat your brother the way your brother treats you the way you treat your sister the way you i mean just the way you do things is it's all revolve around his commandments his word and it just gives you a great great appreciation for yah and how he thinks and how what his relationship is to us you know you have more um, you, you have more, um, what's the word? You can empathize. You can, you can empathize what Yah feels like when he's dealing with us. Even when you're dealing with a wicked woman, you, uh, you know, just even as I deal with a wicked woman um, who's been very treacherous to me and, and try to hurt me and, 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 and cause harm to me, but even the, the, the feelings and, and, and how I feel towards her and, um, you know, believe it or not, you would think that I'll be like a bitter man, you know, what I've gone through, but I'm not bitter at all. I'm not bitter. I'm sad for, uh, for her condition and what she's done. Um, so I can even see the compassion and the love that Yah, um, has. Can you guys hear me, by the way? Cause I want to make sure I'm not on Bluetooth. Can you guys hear me? Give me a thumbs up. You guys, you, I think you, I think you guys told me you can hear me. Can you, can you guys just tell me, give me a, uh, uh, okay, good. Cause I don't know if I'm on Bluetooth or whatever, but anyway, so, um, but this has been amazing. Um, so what, what the world calls a pandemic, what the world calls, uh, you know, where people, we, we, we're good on food. Uh, we good on, you know, I mean, we're good. We're healthy. Um, all of this stuff has not affected anybody at straightway praise land. Uh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Thank you guys. Thank you. Muffled a bit. I'm muffled. Let me see here. I'm trying to see if I'm not on. Let me Oh, no. Let me see. Okay. Let me see here. Can you guys hear me? Kabir just got 10 minutes. Can you guys hear me? Just one more time. One more time. You guys say I sound muffled. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me? Yep. Nope. Okay, good. So anyway... I just wanted to come on here and tell you guys, please go to my um, patron, 
Um, if you have not already, if you haven't heard about it, go there. We're going to be putting some good content. And like I said, um, I am going to be putting some stuff in there where I can be a little bit more personable. When I say personal, I, cause I don't want to be putting, you know, as I still and still dealing with this court system, you know, a lot of the stuff was good to educate you guys and, and the public and stuff like that. But a lot of time it can hurt me. Um, so I don't want to give the enemy any more grounds to see how I'm working or whatever, unless they want to pay for it. I guess I could take it that way. But um, at least I can see the people who's coming on my Patreon and I can't be censored as much too. So, but I do want to give you guys tools in your marriage. I want to give you guys tools on how to deal with the system. There's some stuff that's come up that I can't talk about right now, but I will be talking about on my Patreon. But there's things that I'm experiencing with the legal society, the legal system, um, and how to stay out of the legal system, guys. I mean, t I mean, literally, a lot of things that we deal with when it comes to the legal society, and it is a society, it's a religion, is literally self-inflicted. The legal society cannot touch you unless you give your consent. And the way they get our consent, we do it every day. We don't even know it. It's, seen, it's, so, it's like breathing air. And so we don't know that we end up giving our rights away when we sign things, when we don't look at what we sign. Or sometimes you want, I mean, even like just to do an app, you sign things, and you don't even know what you're signing. You don't even know what you're giving up. So you guys got to be very careful. But I'm going to tell you just some of the things that I've learned. There's some new developments coming up that I want to share um, we do in our garden that one. I'm going to, you know, you guys saw that we, we already got that all up. Now we got to get the dirt in, believe it or not. We just had some crazy weather. We had literally snow, rain, hell, like, yes, hell. Um, we had, uh, windy. I mean, it was windy, all, all types of stuff there. So, um, but please check out my Patreon account. Um, if brother Dave is on there, please put the, uh, the, uh, the information on there to, to, so people know how to get on there, sign up. You can, you can just to support, we have different levels where you can support another one where you get the videos content. And then there's another level where you get to, uh, where I actually respond to an email or to, uh, things like that. So we try to, I think the highest we go is $20. So $29, $3 or something like that. So, Please go in there, support, guys. It really does help the ministry here at Straightway Praise Land. It helps with all of the, the video, the content, things that we try to do to give you guys the best content. But I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be sharing a lot of good stuff there. So, But um, I just hope you guys are enjoying your COVID vacation, your uh, COVID uh, time off, um, and use that time to pour into, to pour into Yah, pour into his, uh, uh, you, know, sink, you know, get into his word, uh, we got a lot of good teaching here at Straightway Truth Ministry, and I mentioned a lot of them already. Um, um, you got Pastor Dow, obviously, leading the way, and then you got all of these. I mean, there's no excuse, literally. When Elder when Elder Rufus, I mean, even even be able to hear sister and sister here in Elder Rufus, but there is no excuse. There you go, uh, right there, patreon.com slash KGB94TV. But there's no excuse, guys. We got so many teachings. You got Teacher Shane. You got uh, Teacher... Um, uh, you got um, Teacher Erickson, you got uh, Teacher Eric, you got um, um, Elder Donnie, uh, Deacon Bell, uh, Elder Becker, um, and, and I have this thing called Comcast. I think it's called Comcast, and that's where I get a lot of my shows, and you can just put Straightway Truth Ministry, and it puts it all in there, and you can go through the whole thing. And I think it, I mean, it has over hundreds of episodes, and you can go through the whole thing. You have CastBox. Thank you. CastBox. If you have an Apple, you can download the app, and then you can you can subscribe to Straightway Truth Ministry, and you will see a lot of the blog talk from sister to sister to all of the elders teaching. Um, and then using that one, you can get a teacher or, or Deacon Bell or one of those um, uh, guys, uh, brothers. So anyway, um, so check that out, guys. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff, but stay in your word. And um, just know, guys, we are blessed. We should be uh, truly thankful to the Most High God that we have a Jeremiah 315 and Pastor Dow. And uh, if you guys are new to my channel, check out straight truth, uh, straightway.com uh, or straightwaytruths.com. Um, that's, 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 the, that's the assembly I'm a part of. That's the assembly I'm a part of. And that's, the, uh, that's where I get fed. And so, um, and then obviously all the stuff that branches off of that. So anyway, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. I'm alive. I'm well. 
I got to get into this um, this place here, which I will talk about on my Patreon. I can't tell you what it is now, but when you get on my Patreon, and if you know, I ask that you guys, the ones that do know, uh, and, and the stuff I share on Patreon, if you ever see me on YouTube, I appreciate if you will not put that um, on any of the social media until it's until I'm ready. Um, but I will share that with you, and I will always kind of put that preface to that on my Patreon. But um, sometimes people may forget and say, hey, you know, so that's just more for straightway and for for my Patreon um, subscribers. So anyway, I love you guys, and uh, enjoy your COVID uh, COVID nineteen uh, vacation. That I am. Uh, so I'm gonna get in here, do some business, and then I'm gonna head back to the uh, to the community and uh, be there with my uh, brothers and sisters and my Shia, and um, after I get some stuff done around here, then I'm going to go back and uh, finish my Jericho. It's it's addictive, guys. It's addictive. So anyway, love you guys. Shalom, shalom. See you guys. Shalom. <laughs>